Okay, so this question wants you to find the maximum possible area, this is what we don't know, if the perimeter is 100 centimeters. What did we find? Which shape will always produce the maximum possible area? Okay, so the square is always going to produce the maximum, the greatest area, and the least perimeter. So we're given the perimeter. We want to know what is the maximum possible area of this square? Well, I just told you, it's going to be a square. Okay, that's what we just discovered. The shape that produces this is a square, right? If you're given the perimeter, 100 centimeters, can you figure out the dimensions of the shape knowing that it has to be a square? Yes. How do we find the dimensions of the shape? Well, you could do 100 divided by 4. Yeah, we could do 100 divided by 4 because we know that a square has four equal sides. What's 100 divided by 4? 25 centimeters, okay? And again, we've just discovered that a square is always going to produce the maximum area. That's why I drew a square. Now I know the dimensions. Can you find the area of the shape? How do you find area of a square or area of a rectangle? Area equals length times width, or in this case, area equals length squared because they're both the same. 25 times 25, or we can write it as 25 squared, right? Area equals 25 times 25, which is the same as writing 25 squared. 25 times 25. What is it? Yeah? Nico? 625. What? Centimeters squared. Okay? So if the perimeter is 100 centimeters, the greatest possible area for this shape would be 625 centimeters squared. So again, now we're doing the opposite. In this question, they, they want you to find the minimum, so the least possible perimeter, the smallest perimeter you can get, if the area is one meter squared. And again, what shape will always produce the least possible perimeter? A square. We know the area of the square is what? One meter squared. How do you find the side lengths if you're given the area? What's the opposite of squaring a number? Rooting. Square root. Okay. If the area is one meter squared, I know that the square root of one will give me the dimensions. It will give me the length and the width. What is the square root of one? The square root of one is one, right? What's one times one? One. Okay. Now that we know the dimensions of the shape, can you tell me what the perimeter would be? Four. How many sides are there? Four. So one times four equals? Four. four. So the minimum perimeter would be four meters. That's it. Let's do another one because that example was kind of easy because I used the number one. Okay. okay, so let's try this one. What's the smallest perimeter you can get if the area is 49 centimeters squared? Again, what shape produces the smallest, least perimeter? Square. Okay. If the area is 49 centimeters squared, what's the length of each side? What's the opposite of squaring a number? Square root. If I find the square root, I'm getting the root of the square. What times what? Seven, seven. Good. Seven times seven gives me 49, and it's a square, so I know all four sides have to be the same. Each side length is 7. I want to know the perimeter, so I need to add all four sides up. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, or we could do 7 times 4, because there's four sides. What's 7 times 4? So the least possible perimeter is 28 centimeters. Made with DoodleCast Pro.